Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH and I'm back for another VR experience spotlight video. And this time we're looking at an interesting little thing called Colonist A514. And I've looked at this a little bit earlier, um, just a little bit, and it's kind of neat. It actually seems to be like a, almost like a science lesson, um, like the history of Earth, wrapped up in kind of this like weird futuristic presentation, like, oh, you're some weird species from the future and you are coming across Earth and uh, you're learning about it. <clears throat> And that seems to be what it is. And like on their on the Oculus page, it said, you know, it even mentioned like, you know, this is some giving you know, like modern teachers some ideas of you know how VR might be able to be used in an educational setting. And I got to admit that you know what little I've seen of this, it kind of seems like like kids are so lucky today. <laughs> like if I would have had half of the stuff we have, like I would have actually really enjoyed school. Like. I had a magnifier and maybe eventually a CCTV and, you know, stuff, a little bit more stuff in high school, but like the first, oh, six years or so of school just sucked. But anyway, um, so yeah, Colonist A514. Now, the one frustrating thing I will say about this is that here's where VR is a little wonky still. Like I said, everything is up in the air. Um, the interface, like I have text over to the left of me. If you want to pause and look at it, there you go. I have text over to the right, and for all I know, well, I don't know if it's the same text or not. Um, but basically, you know, I can't lean in to look at it. Um, it's just kind of set off in the distance there. And in front of me, there's no real button or anything to hit. Like, you know, usually you, you, you gaze at a, you know, a button or something and you either hit A or you gaze at it until like a little thing fills up and then it'll launch, whatever. This one, like I actually had to, the instructions are right there and if you have normal vision, it's fine. But the way I see it in VR, it's off in the distance and it's small. So I really couldn't read it and I actually had to lift up my headset here and then I had to kind of try to look right at the screen and read what the heck it says and that's why this one was so different it threw me off. I wasn't sure how to get into the game or how to get into the experience. So you actually hit B to begin or R to reset your field of view. I don't know why they couldn't have mapped some of that to the generic A or start button on the controller and some other button on a controller for controller support. I don't know, but whatever. Let's hit B to begin. And here we go. It will explain. Okay, so yeah, this is like a futuristic school thing. This actually makes a little bit more sense to me now that I've seen a little bit of this. I want, I want school like this, man. Like all cool futuristic things and... That's a weird looking classroom. It's like I'm in a ship. Feels like I'm in a... Your detention commences now. Okay. Now I can't read any of that again because it's small and I mean the contrast is okay Initial but it's data collected from the Voyager and it's, its deployed probe. You know, Tell us very little about our destination small. planet. We understand that there is a suitable atmosphere, oceans of water, plentiful vegetation and acceptable gravity, but no information exists on the diversity of life if any, that inhabit the area. The hastening decay of our ecosystems demanded that a colonization mission be implemented before more data could be collected. We quite literally have no idea what we are sending you into. 
Yet the continuation of our species is dependent on your success. The chart shown represents the total time in which Earth now, has been capable one thing of that supporting I wish, life in an advanced There's form. a little speaker where that the voice is coming from. Conveys the duration I wish, of mammals while I'm looking around, I wish that there was another speaker the right there. The time in which so that I could hear it in stereo. This environment. It kind of bugs me to have it only coming in one ear. The rain of or I have to look over here. That ruled the planet you know, right here to get it. Logic dictates, therefore, that all colonists should be educated on this time period, due to the high likelihood of reptile coexistence. Cool hologram, though, or holograph display. Four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a small, like fiery planet <laughs> circling a newly created sun, accumulating central mass from leftover debris in its solar path. A very different place than the one your parents called home. Constantly bombarded during this period, a major collision with a smaller planet would send a fragment of Earth into near orbit, to later become our moon. Over the next billion years, the core would gradually harden and meteorite impacts would bring much needed water for the outer surface to cool. That's cool the water looking. that you've been sipping in your drink bottle, is the same water that was delivered during this time. Alright then. It would take another two billion years before an atmosphere thick enough to sustain cyanobacteria could form and the final ingredient necessary for life, oxygen, could be produced. All life forms are built from the same six elemental ingredients. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. With these elements in abundance the earth was finally ready, for the dawn of the dinosaurs. Okay. And things will change a little Their bit part here. In Earth's history exists within I've the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras, which occurred from 570 to 65 million it. years ago. Because I thought, these let's periods check this out are further on the video. divided into nine distinct segments, each culminating in a significant environmental change that rearranges the established food chain. As one species falls, another rises that is better suited to thrive in the new ecosystem. A valuable lesson that history has taught us repeatedly, is that species domination is directly linked to its environmental impact. 65 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, oh, hey, a Dino. large meteorite impacted with the Earth causing the mass extinction of 70% of the Earth's population. All dinosaurs, and the vast majority of above land creatures, were instantly eradicated, ushering in the beginnings of mammal, and eventually primate, compatibility. The story of all life begins with the Cambrian era, so let's take a closer look, at a very, different Earth. Yeah, so there's where I stopped, because I'm like, okay, now this is cool. So now my desk is turned into this crazy, like, futuristic, like, hover hovercraft thing. I don't know what you would call this, but this is pretty sweet. Like, I'm in a um, holodeck right now. Desolate. Lifeless. No birds fill the skies, holodeck. nor fish the seas. The Cambrian Earth is totally void of all animals, trees, grasses, and insects. No life, not even bacteria, can be found in this upside-down world. This is nature's empty canvas, onto which will be painted all life in due time, but for now, uh, this okay, we got a is what a beginning looks back like. There, whatever. Five hundred and seventy million years ago, all land was concentrated at the bottom of the planet, south of the equator, and divided between the largest continent, Gondwana, and three subcontinents, Laurentia, Siberia, and Baltica. Modern day, India, Africa, and Australia, were all centered at the southern tip of the planet, while Antarctica and Alaska enjoyed the most tropical of weather. The majority of the globe was covered with a vast, singular ocean of clean water. Plentiful oxygen, warm temperatures, and shallow marine bays, like this one, will play host to the most intense period of evolutionary advancement. Yeah, in so all now the Earth is uh, the Cambrian life explosion. Transformed. We've got a whole the diversification bunch of water. happening here today will have consequences that echo throughout all time. Over the next 45 for minutes, let's lay witness to the birth 
of every species chain, and watch as this explosive growth overflows onto the land. But before we can walk in the footsteps of dinosaurs, we need to find a deeper pool and get a little wet. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna look at the underwater startings of of life uh, before it crawled onto land, I guess. So this looks like a favorable spot. You might want to hang on to something. <laughs> we. Okay, we're underwater now. Cool. Oh, that's some cool effects. That's neat. That's cool. I like Primitive this. Primitive forms of single and multicellular green algae have started thriving here, grouped together into resource-rich columns that mirror the appearance of modern-day seaweeds. Huh. Amongst them are scattered a small range of sponges. Plant-like in appearance, sponges are actually one of the simplest of multicellular organisms. Nutrients and oxygen in the water mm. are filtered internally and exhausted as carbon dioxide. The most prolific species found in the Cambrian Oceans are trilobites, small segmented arthropods that possess hardened exoskeletons. These will become Honestly, a genetic predecessor to all I can't wait for crabs, more educational content Let's to come to the rift because some. stuff like stuff like this is actually kind of fascinating. I This is just a cool way to learn. All detainees are required to observe compulsory attention deficit breaks. Your session will continue after a short five minute recess. No, oh, let me keep watching. That's cool. Awesome! Yeah. Okay, what does that say? I can't read it. Let me lift up my headset and see if I can't. Uh, virtual reality... Informative... What the hell? How do I... What? Really? Can I not? It went. Away, the message went away too fast. I was. I wonder if that's just like a demo, or are there in-app purchases like where I can continue? Um, are they? Did they just release this as a standalone thing? What if I hit B again? What happens? Oh, dang, it looks like it's going to be the same thing again. Huh. <clears throat> um, because this actually would be something I... I don't remember if this was free or if it was a buck or two. And if, if, it, if it did cost anything, it was only a... It was only like a buck or two. I don't think it was all that much. Um, but I'm genuinely kind of interested. Like, if they can keep things factual and you know basically let you see things in scale like i'd love to see that you know like the dinosaurs while they're just you know describing like you could you could potentially have like different lessons in this sort of a thing like oh today i want to learn about you know you i could see even buying you know like uh you have a science pack and you want to yeah. Initial data collected from the Voyager you know, maybe and its deployed. You just want to see the dinosaur theory and you want to go in depth about. Planet. Okay, we here's this dinosaur. Here's what it did. Here's how it. Oceans of water, you know, plentiful was it a, vegetation, and acceptable a gravity. Meat eater, was but it, no information exists on the dinosaur. Uh, all kinds of facts of life, about it. Um, any, that inhabit the area. And other scientific the things. The hastening yeah, decay be, of our ecosystems demanded that a colonization mission be implemented. I could see doing some educational stuff like this. Before more data um, could be collected. Yeah, uh, I'm actually literally. kind of bummed that it's over. I remember when I mentioned that Oculus during their keynote uh, a couple weeks the ago, they were talking about, the total I'm not sure when they're going to do it, but I guess they're going to be adding an educational section the specifically to the store. The duration of and I kind of can't wait for that to start happening because, you know what, the time I like to learn. And like I said, the Apollo 11 thing, this... 
The remaining um, larger there's another in body the one. Maybe I should do a demo of that one as well soon. Um, <coughs> where you kind of go on like a cellular level. I think that's an early access right now. Maybe it's progressed since because that was one of the first things I tried when I got my Rift and I haven't looked at it since. So. Yeah, you know, this kind of gives you a glimpse a at uh, another type of uh, way you could present educational material, you know? Kind of a cool, futuristic, scientific way to display facts and kind of... A very different place. In a way, it's, you know, it's like trick. You know, you could think of it as like tricking someone to learn. A major collision with a but at the same time, I don't really think so because I think, you know, as long as somebody is kind of genuinely interested in learning, like this is actually a really cool, non-boring way to do it. I mean, part of the problem with sitting in a classroom is like. You know, your the traditional water, school setting is like, drink bottle, I am is the, the teacher, you will listen to me, this and time. you will be bored, and you should learn this way, because two that's the way it's been done. An atmosphere thick enough to but, you know, I think we may be starting to get a little smarter and about that, and, um, for life. oxygen. Could be yeah, I mean, I'm not in school right now, but All I will probably pay for educational VR content, because it's... Carbon, oh, hydrogen, nitrogen, Hope oxygen, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here, but uh, yeah, abundance. hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, follow me on dinosaurs. Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again. Earth's history Later. exists within the Paleozoic and Mesozoic era.